step on making our voice thread is to comment. So we'll go to step two and go to comment. And you'll notice that when I here, because I haven't uploaded my own profile picture yet, I'm going to keep getting this bubble. And we are going to actually go through how to do that later, but for now I can close it. So when I'm on the voice thread comment page, you'll notice that the slides are switching. And here is a list of all my slides or my pictures. If I want to comment on the first one, I can choose that one. And I can click on comment. And here I can record an audio comment. This is if I wanted to telephone comment. Um, we're not going to get into that. It's a pro service. This would be using my webcam and you are allowed to make a limited number of comments using your webcam but we're gonna go to the audio we're gonna go through how to do an audio record comment and a typewritten comment so if I go to audio it's gonna ask if it can have access to my microphone on my computer so I will allow that and here I'm going to make my test comment and the nice thing about voice threads is not only can I record my voice but if I see the color palette right here, I'm going to choose a red pen. And I'm going to circle the part of the picture I'm talking about. So if you look right here, we can see a bear that came to visit us at our cabin. And one thing you'll notice about the doodle feature, or the writing feature, is that that ink starts to fade away. If I want that ink to stay on the page for my entire comment, click the center of that palette, and everything will stay up. Okay, so I, now anything I write will stay for the entire duration of my comment. When I'm finished recording, I hit stop recording. And it will play back automatically. And here I'm going to make my test comment. And, and I can nice either save it or cancel it. I'm going to save this comment. Voice. And now my comment shows up right here. And I can click on it to play. And here I'm going to make my And I could choose to throw it away if I wanted to by deleting the, nice the comment. Thing about I don't want to hear that I... comment again. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to hit this arrow to go to the next picture in my voice thread. And at this time I'm going to read a typewritten comment. And while I'm typewriting my comment, I can also do doodling. And here I can put a comment. and then I can save it and then I can play that comment back and it will show the comment and the writing and I could delete that comment if I wanted to with the trash can as well and I can do this for any single one of the slides and one thing you'll notice sometimes is the slides will move ahead and you'll end up on this page you can always use the back arrow to go back to the slides you wanted to or to click on these here to get an overview of all your different slides and go to the one that you want. So if I wanted to leave a comment here, then I could I'll do a typewritten comment, and I could say mm -hmm. <laughs> and I could leave my comment, and then now that shows up when I play that comment. I could write on the screen. And that is commenting in a nutshell.